What's going on everybody? Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we finished Dodongo's Cavern, saving the Gorons and gaining the Goron Ruby. This time, we're going to take Darunia's advice and head up to the summit of Death Mountain and find the great fairy that is supposed to live there. So, if you recall, on our way in, we saw these rocks here. And we didn't really go over here and explore very much, but they were blocking our path. But now that we have bombs, uh, thanks to our adventures in Dodongo's Cavern. Yes, he did, Navi. Thank you. Now that we have bombs, we can blow up these rocks and progress. So, funny story about this rock here, this specific one. I do stupid shit like that and throw the bomb way too early. And either hurt myself or just miss the rock entirely. And then I fall. That sounds about right for me. <laughs> anyway, under that rock is 20 rupees. So that is something good to make note of. Under this rock is a grotto. <laughs> and in that grotto, as you may have just heard, is a cow. And if you play a song we don't have yet for this cow, you can get milk. Which will heal your hearts. But we don't have that song yet, so I'll go over that again at some later point. So, you want to backwalk. Because if you backwalk, you can't get touched by these falling rocks. I don't know for sure if they'll burn your shield, but you'll definitely take damage if you get hit by them. So, keep that in mind. Now, I'm going to grab the slingshot. And... Take that guy out. You can get up without taking out any of them, but better safe than sorry. Also, I'm surprised that last guy didn't target me. You shit. Alright. Guess we're killing them all. Thought we were good to get by without it, but I guess not. The game had other plans. Also, kind of surprised that that didn't work, because it does work on this one. Uh, getting pushed to the side by the angles of the walls, but whatever. Whatever, we're here at the summit, and it's him. Alright. You've done well to come all the way up here, Link. This is the summit of the Sacred Death Mountain, Hoot! It is said that the clouds surrounding this peak reflect the condition of Death Mountain. When they look normal, it is at peace. Climbing all the way up here just proves how smart you are. Now I want to see you make another smart move. The Great Fairy lives on this mountaintop, and she'll give you a new skill. She is the leader of the fairies, you know. Hoo! I will perch here and wait for you. When you're ready to go back down, I can help you. Now, get going. Huh? Drop a bomb. And head inside. I mean, why else would we need... Why else would he say, You need to do something smart. Yeah, just do the thing we've been doing the entire time to get up here. Also, see Triforce, play lullaby. Welcome, Link. I'm the Great Fairy of Power. I'm gonna grant you a sword technique. Receive it now.
you mastered the secret sword technique of the spin attack. Hold B to charge your weapon. Release B to unleash a wave of energy with your spin. If you want to release energy without charging, uh, just rotate the control stick once and press B for a very effective quick spin. When you charge power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. Hey boy, you're messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop in on a friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. She'll surely grant you yet another power. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. And we have a magic meter. So, our spin attack can cover a large range. And quick spins. But that's noisy, so I'm... I don't know. Sorry about that brief little cut. I had to uh, check up on a few things. So, I'm sure the game expects you to go in here at some point. So let's go in here and see what's in there. There you go. Now you're getting it. Now you're thinking with portals. Link, it's so hot in here. We can't stay in here for long. So we have about 40 seconds. It's based on the number of hearts that you had upon entering. So I'm gonna just... Just in case, I'm not sure if it will screw that up, but I'm gonna just... Put down a... Hylian shield, just in case. So, putting down this bomb, opens up yet another grotto, and inside this grotto is... I'm not 100% sure. A chest. Would it... What's in this chest, you might ask? I don't know, because I rolled right past it. <laughs> it's extra bombs! We did not need that yet. <laughs> so, back out here. Um, let's see. Is there anything under that rock? I'm not sure. Oh, come on. I turned back in time. No, there's nothing under this rock, but we can see there's a climbable wall right here. So, let's... there we go. Grab this. Piece of heart, which means we've completed another heart container. We now have six. So I'm going to jump in the lava and respawn where we entered the room. So that was Gold Skull Shield number 15. So we're halfway between 10 and 20, so we are pretty good there. Over here is a wall that looks a little funny, so let's throw a bomb at it. And it unveils, well, more bombs for us, but also another Gossip Stone. It doesn't really tell us anything right now. There is stuff... There is a way to interact more with them later, but we don't really have the means at the moment. I'm just going to hop in here and use it to reset our timer. Just so we don't, you know, burn to a crisp for being in here too long. Shut up. You shut up. Wow, I just... Can't catch a break today. So. So I want to make it nighttime. Because there are a few Skulltulas that we can get here now that we have bombs. That we couldn't before. And most of the time for Skulltulas it should be nighttime. So let's. Back up. And hope that we. Uh, don't get hit again because. I don't know. Wow. I'm getting hit a lot here. Alright. So, the Skulljilla that I wanted to get... Sorry, did he blow a bomb on himself? 
school shield I wanted to get was way back down here. And it is... Inside a rock. Rock wall, specifically, that we couldn't get past because we didn't have bombs before. And now that we're out of the fire area, I'm gonna re-equip our Deku shield. If I could... There we go. That didn't work. Can you die? Yeah, let's use our quick spin. <laughs> Alright. I thought bombs exploded on contact with the gold skull trealers, but I guess not. So you, you might be wondering. Can you... How are you supposed to get that? It's too high up. Well, for some reason, this wall is climbable. I've never understood it, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, geez, it's already daytime. There is one more Skulchiela that I mentioned while we were in Dodongo's Cavern. We cannot get it because I checked that wall is not climbable. It has the same texture as the one here that is climbable, but that one is not. I don't understand it. But, um, we're gonna go and talk to Mr. Owl again, because he said he'd give us a lift down, and I want it to be nighttime, because I don't know if we got everything there at nighttime, so I just want to double check. And after that, we're gonna go exploring now that we have bombs. Woo hoo well, it looks like you've grown up a little from the great fairy's power. But you still don't really look like the hero who will save Hyrule. At least not yet. If you're going back down the mountain, I can lend you a wing. Come here and grab my talons. And hold on tight. Hoo -hoo. And he drops us off on the roof of a building. And you know what that gives us? Gives us access to this platform here. And what's in this platform? Or on this platform? Another cow. But more importantly, a heart piece. We now have six and a quarter hearts. I know it doesn't really count like that, but you know. So there is definitely one thing that I am 85% sure that we did not get while we were here. In the graveyard, I believe we did not get a, this other grave that we can enter. So let me double check it real quick. No, it doesn't look like we entered it before. So in this grave... Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Is a redead. Oh, Link, please. Back the fuck up. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we got ourselves a magic jar. Cool. If we play the sun song here, though... We open up a chest. Well, a chest appears for us to open. And inside that chest is something very useful to us. Another piece of heart. Um, now this is just speculation, but... Okay, no. Thought there might be something hidden behind a bombable wall, but I'm wrong. There might be in the chest with the Hylian shields, but I'm not sure. Let's double check that. Link. 
please. <laughs> Just go in the goddamn grave. Yeah, there is a bone on the wall here. And back here, I actually don't remember what's here. Oh, a fairy fountain! Huh. Cool. Don't have another bottle, but if we did, we'd be able to put a fairy in here. Alright, so. Yeah, like I said, we're gonna go around the world, and... We're gonna go see what we can get now that we have bombs. Alright, so. First up, there is a hidden grotto about here in Kakariko. Inside it are a couple of Rededs. So, let's play our song and stun them. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. That did not work. That did not work at all. Let me out, you motherfucker. <laughs> Stun you. I want you stunned. I want you to not be able to move. I want to be able to kill you. Okay? Okay. Let me... Yeah. <laughs> Take a sip. Jump slashes are always more powerful. Inside the chest that spawns for killing these knuckleheads. A gold rupee. It's worth 200. That completely filled our wallet. Probably should have emptied it before getting that. Whatever. Anyway. On to the next grotto. So now, technically we could have gone to this one earlier. But we didn't have a good chance before. Over here by... Where we were hunting chickens, there is another hole. Inside this hole, it's one of these grottos with this chest which has uh, 20 rupees in it. On to the next. So I wanted to come back to the Lost Woods because there are a couple of things we can do here now uh, that we couldn't before. So while we're on our revisiting everywhere to look for grottos. I want to hop on here and let's play Sorry a song for this Skull Kid. Because he seems to like it. it. Must be why he's here. You know Sorry a song? We should be friends. Here, take this. A piece of heart. Which is good because I was low on health anyway. Ow. Over here is a patch, which I think has a Skulltula in it. Let's find out. Yes, it does. Alright, that's number 16. And now down here, there is a Gossip Stone, but also a Business Scrub. Um, I don't remember what this Business Scrub gives us. I surrender. Uh, you can get more Deku Sticks. It'll cost you 40 rupees. Alright, that works. We can now carry up to 20 Deku Sticks. Very nice. Anyway, let's continue our trek through the Lost Woods. Alright, back at the starting section. We head off this way. We could see a little target we could aim for. So let's shoot it with our slingshot. The area of effect for a bullseye is a lot bigger than you would think. Cool! You're great! You scored three perfect bullseyes! I have to give a neat present to such a wonderful person. Please, take it! We got Deku Seed Bullet Bag. We can now hold up to 40 slingshot bullets. And there's also something down here for us, which I dread every playthrough. Follow along with our song on your ocarina. We'll lead you into it.
That was quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. A green rupee. Yeah, we should play some more. Follow along with our song on your ocarina, yada yada. Oh, fuck off, game. I played it fine. That was quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. It's blue rupee. We're gonna get better reward this time for sure. Oh, thank God. That was quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. Fuck you, I'm done, I'm out. We got another heart container, we now have seven hearts. I hate that minigame so much. Dear Lord. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. We have bombs, we blow up rock. In this grotto? Uh, what is in this grotto? It's a chest. It's probably rupees. I hope it's not a gold rupee. Alright, it's, it's a blue rupee. That's, that's okay. <laughs> if it was a gold rupee, that would have been a monumental waste of rupees. Uh, Alright, over here's nothing. But there is something over in the sacred forest grotto. But there's also something over here. Uh, Dicker Nuts, five of them for 20 rupees? No, thank you. Hey. Uh, Dicker Sticks, no thanks. But there is a thing here. 
So let's drop our bugs and get ourselves a uh, gold skull chilla. I don't actually know which way this comes out. And I walked into it anyway. <laughs> so, there is a... Grotto over here. There's not much we could do here at the moment, but let's make a note of it for later. Forest stage. We're waiting to see your beautiful face. Win fabulous prizes. Can't really do much there right now the seconds, but something to make note of for later. Anyway, there is also this rock. Hello? Under that rock is a blue ruby. Uh... Is this the rock that I was thinking of then? Yes, yes it was. <laughs> In here, there are a couple of business scrubs. What have you got for me? More Deku Nuts. Sure. Take your seeds, 30 for 40? No. I think I'm full anyway from getting that upgrade. <laughs> or close to it. Alright. In here we go. Hidden bomb. If you... There is an item we can get that makes finding these a lot easier. But we don't have it yet, so... I'm just showing you the ones that I remember. And you're dead. So what do we have here? In this chest? It's a purple ruby. Pretty nice. And I don't remember if I showed it or not, but there is a... There is another grotto over here. In this area. We have to go all the way to the end though, so... Let's go to the end. Up this ladder, as if we were exiting. There is... This hole right here. It's a fairy fountain. We don't have an empty bottle, but... Something to make note of, in case you need them. Anyway, on to the next area. Okay, so, here in Hyrule Field, there is... This big rock that we could completely miss, apparently. Even though the bomb looked like it was right next to it. But underneath it, there is this grotto. Inside this grotto, is another chest. I'm sure you can see roughly where this is going. Over here, by this tree, there is also a hidden grotto that we can bomb to get open. Though we can't really do anything here at the moment. You can see a gold sculpture there right above my A button, but we don't have the means of collecting that yet, so we'll have to just make note of it for later. Over by this lone tree, Uh, wrong tree. This tree. Over by this lone tree. <laughs> Sorry. By this lone tree. There is another bombable grotto hole. Let's head on in. Ooh, what's down here? A heart piece. Can we reach it? No, not even close. I guess we'll have to make a note of it for later. Is that a pea hat? Ah, uh, that's a pea hat. Uh, okay. 
right across the river nearby that other grotto that we can't do anything at right now. There is this hole. Well, that worked. You dead? You're dead. Cool. What'd you give me? Give me magic. And a single heart. Anyway, here's the grotto that we opened up. God, I hate fighting pea hats. In here is a fairy's fountain, which conveniently... I mean, I still don't have a bottle, but... It's nice to be able to fill up. Being in full hearts is very nice. That respawned the pea hat, didn't it? Yes, it did! Alright, let's get the hell out of Dodge and head Link, wait up, buddy. Woohoo. Head south from here to reach Lake Hylia's full rich waters. If you go west, you'll find Gerudo Valley. There's a hideout of a gang of thieves on the other side of the valley. Well, you're free to go anywhere you want. Hoo hoo hoo. You want to hear what I said again? No. No matter how hard it is, just don't get discouraged. Hoo hoo hoo. Okay. I did not realize he was there. Alright, well. Our grotto that we want to go to is right around the bend. From, uh, Mr. Owl. Right over here, among this circle of rocks. Put down a bomb in the center. We got ourselves a grotto. Which... We don't really have... Any way of going anywhere from here, so... Bye. <laughs> Gotta make note of that for later, too. He fucking respawned. Well, if we follow his advice... And head over to the entrance of Lake Hylia here... There are a couple of grottos for... He's... Hmm. There are a couple of grottos for us to encounter. One of them is already open, because it's just open at all times for some reason. I don't understand it. But inside is... Why do I keep grabbing those grasses? Jeez. But inside is... That blue rupee. The other one is within his talk range. Beyond this point lies Lake Hylia. Something, something, something. Do you want to hear what I said again? The other one is somewhere in here. Which I got at first try. Nice. We have a business scrub. Alright, alright, you win. In return for sparing me, I'll sell you a piece of heart. One of them for ten rupees. Let's make a deal. We got a piece of heart. That is... Seven and a quarter now. And we're almost at twenty gold sculptulas. Which is very, very nice. And now the final grotto that I want to show you is right near our home, the Kokiri Forest. Well, kind of close to it. Oh no, I didn't want to target him. <laughs> God damn you, I'm trying to backwalk and you're just interrupting me? God damn. You can see that boulder off in the distance? That's where we're heading.
There are a lot of pea hats around here, and that is very concerning. In here is another money chest with a red rupee. We are now back at full capacity, and we have one last bomb, so we're going to need to pick up some soon. Unless we get a drop right here in the grass. Which we did. Excellent. Now we have a decent number of, uh, bombs. Cool. So if you remember a little while back, the way that we got to Zelda was by waking up this guy from the ranch. The ranch is the only place left in Hyrule Field that we have not been to. So, I'd like to explore there today. As the one final thing that we do. So let's head on inside. Welcome to Lon Lon Ranch. First things first, let's head into this closest door. <laughs> huh? I'm awake already. What? Well, I'll be if it ain't the forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. It took some doing, but I finally got Malin back in a good mood. So, what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? These three cuckoos I have here are special super cuckoos. I'm going to throw these cuckoos into that there gaggle of normal cuckoos. You can pick out these three special birds from among the normal cuckoos within the time limit. I'll give you something good. If you can't find them, I win. It'll be 10 rupees. Want to play? Let's play. You have 30 seconds. Alrighty then, get ready. Here you go, the super cuckoos. Start looking. Alright, well, we saw one of them drop down, and I rolled right past it. That's one of them. Keep it up. Keep it up. Two more to find. Uh, I think this... no? You. There we go. There's another. Alright now. The moment of truth. One more to find. And the last one tends to be around the door, so... That's not it. Golly, I'll be darned. It's plumb incredible. That's the last one. You found them all. Come on over here. Hey you, you've got the talent to be one of the world's best cowboys. How'd you like to marry Malin, huh? Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> I was just kidding, just kidding. I think you're a little young for that, aren't you? <laughs> uh, I'm proud to present to you a sample of our very own Lon Lon Milk. You'll be energized the moment you drink it. After you drink it, you can bring back the bottle and buy a refill anytime you want. We got ourselves a second bottle, finally. We got the Lon Lon Milk. This milk is very nutritious. Use it with the C button to recover your life energy. We'll recover five hearts per drink. There are two drinks per bottle. On the select item subs, okay, we know how items work. So yeah, we got ourselves a second bottle. Very nice. Hello, camera. Did I target a chicken or something? Is that why the camera turned like that? I have no idea. Anyway, I want to head up here and see what's here. It's a bedroom. Cool. I'm going to take your stuff and smash it. Cool. I'm on the bed. This place looks a lot better in the 3DS version. So, I just want to show that real quick. Alright, now that that's been shown... Uh, now that that's been shown, I'm losing my train of thought again. Uh, I want to head in here. See what's in here. No, oh, hey, it's Luigi. Alright, so we're seeing a couple of cows and Mr. Luigi. 
I can't believe that I, the great Ingo, am working for this dump of a ranch. Because the owner is so lazy, I always have to do all the work around here. Ah, the hard-working Ingo should be in charge, not that lazy bum Talon. Alright, suit yourself, dude. Alright. Well. Skull Chiller. What number is that? Is that... 19. We're really close. But as we saw in the introductory... Introductory cutscene. A little melon is here. So let's go talk to her. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How'd you like the castle? Did you see the princess? <laughs> dad came home in a hurry after you found him. <laughs> oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? Seems like Epona is afraid of you, fairy boy. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. Oh, cute ocarina. Are you going to play this song with that ocarina? Okay, this is the song. We learned Epona's song. Hey, it's the owl. And now Epona likes us. Apparently. And Epona will push us pretty damn near this gate, <laughs> which is where we want to go. So you saw that silo off in the distance. I want to head over there and see what they have. Because I bet you there is something really good there. What, Navi? I wonder if Saria knows anything about the other spiritual stone. I mean, we could ask her, but I doubt it. Alright, so. I could see a little hole there. And I know that there are ways to get in there without moving any of these boxes, but I'd rather just move it, because it's easier. And, you know, don't block yourself. Look at that. It's a piece of heart. That's two down, two to go. Get in the hole, please. Luby so can get back out. And, you know, some cows. So if you ever need to, um... If you ever need more milk... Then what you need to do is go and play Epona song near a cow, and they'll give you some milk for your bottles. Anyway, the reason that I turned at night is because right over here, there is a gold skull chila. There are a few others here, but this is the only one we can get at the moment. And that puts us at... 20 gold Skullchilas. So let's head right back to Kakariko. And... Go turn in our quest. Or our, our quest. Our uh, gold Skullchilas. Alright, so this is the guy we got the wallet from. And our next reward comes from this guy. The curse has been broken. 
thank you. Here's a reward for you. We got the Stone of Agony. If we equip a Rumble Pack, which is something I do not have for my N64, uh, but it will react to nearby secrets. That is a way to find hidden grottos that you don't know about. Um, in the 3DS remake, obviously there's no rumble, so they end up uh, just flashing something on the top screen of the 3DS. So... Oh. So... It still has its uses in the 3DS. Anyway, now that we've explored all that we can for the time being with our bombs, I'd like to thank you all for watching. And next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're going to head back to the market, see what we could do there, and ask Zelda if she knows anything about the next spiritual stone. See you guys then.